Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. December 2nd, Michael Loveled. On this date in 2016, Michael completed the last of seven major surgeries that had left him in chronic pain and in a downward spiral. And when he had come to the end of his own resources, God gave him a whole new life. Here's how it happened. When you've pitched your tent at rock bottom, let God turn your pain into purpose. In the dead of summer, Michael parked his car in his driveway so his buddy wouldn't notice his whiskey plates. He had gotten a DUI a few weeks before and the shame bore down on him, and his buddy would be dropping by soon. For 15 years, Michael had struggled with chronic and physical pain, which led to four back surgeries and three hip surgeries. Along the way, he had lost his job and ended up on social security disability. This crushing blow stripped away his role as a provider for his family, and that was a big part of his identity. All he'd done up to that point was work hard for his wife and his three daughters, but it had seemed to all come to an end. Why had God brought him here? What would he do now? What was his purpose in life? His last surgery was the most successful and his pain had subsided some, but never completely gone and enough to get off pain medication. But the agony of not being able to physically work a regular job ate at him. So to escape, he thought, eh, why not have a drink? And then another and another. Like so many other times, instead of Michael having control of the substance, the substance took control of him. And then after spiraling out of control, Michael got a DUI. He had hit rock bottom. It actually felt like he had set up camp at rock bottom. But God did not abandon Michael. And after going through this, he never took another sip of alcohol. Now in the driveway, Michael looked at the car again, hoping his buddy wouldn't notice the license plates that screamed DUI. But as soon as he got there, the buddy announced, you've got whiskey plates. It was a punch in the gut. Michael didn't know what to say. Now, I've had those before, the buddy said. I've actually had a couple of DUIs. And before you know it, Mikey, this will be so far behind you, you won't even believe it. Maybe he wasn't alone. Tell you what, I'll pick you up on Sunday and take you to an AA meeting not far from here, if you want. I usually go every week, he said. Michael never wanted to be controlled by alcohol or any other substance again, so he said yes. And he went to that AA meeting, and for the first time in his life, he embraced the need for help. Praying to God for another chance in life, with his wife, his daughters, with himself, he continued going to meetings every week. He made new friends there who had stories similar to his. Weekly coffee meetings with them started happening on a regular basis. He really wasn't alone anymore. And in Michael, they had found a true friend. His buddy, who had first brought Michael to the AA meeting, encouraged him to take on some leadership roles, which he did. And that's when Michael started realizing his life, his experiences, both good and bad, were worthwhile. With the help of Christ and others around him, Michael had changed, and he had changed for the better. Knowing that he was not alone in this world with his struggles helped him find new purpose. And that new purpose was to help others through their struggles as well. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do the things he planned for us long ago. What are you struggling with right now? Do you feel like you're in a valley? When you've pitched your tent at rock bottom, let God turn your pain into purpose. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.